Hello everyone, welcome to Dare King Cuts. Today we'll be making a special video where we're making a day trip to Bath, UK, which is the location of the IMO 2024. So right now I'm at Paddington Station waiting for my train. And before hitting on the train, I'm going to get some food. So catch you all shortly. Alright, so we have arrived at Bath's Spa station and right now I'm going to just uh, head off to our first tourist destination. Alright, so I'm at the first destination that I'm visiting which is the Roman Bath which is this building over right here. So unlike what the name suggests, it's actually a museum. So let's go and check it out. So I've just finished a tour of the Roman bath, which took me about two to three hours. So what do I think of the place? I actually think it's actually amazing because there's so many interesting preserved monuments that you really want to take a look. So even if you are not a buff of history, uh, Roman history, you will still want to try and check out this place. Yeah, so I'll see you in the next location. I'm absolutely jealous of all those who are coming for IMO this year for a free trip to Bath. This place is absolutely beautiful. So right now I'm at the famous waterfall in Bath. As you can see the waterfall underneath me is absolutely beautiful. And look at the background. So right now I'm going to go around and uh, view the waterfront from another angle. As you can see there's a path right here which actually is a hidden path that you can uh, go to to take a closer look at the waterfall. So see you there. So to assess the secret walkway I talked about, we look for this sign. Yeah, so this is the other view of the waterfall. It's now at about the same level as you. So really cool path to check it out as well. Alright, so right now I'm going to have lunch at this place called Joya Italian Steakhouse. So let's go check it out. Okay, so I just placed my order for the food and it looks like it's actually started raining outside. So my food is here and it looks absolutely amazing. So the way this works is we are supposed to cut up the pieces of the stick here and put it on a hot stone to cook ourselves. Yeah, so I'll be enjoying my food and I'll see you after lunch. Alright everyone, so I've had my lunch and the weather has cleared up a little. So what we'll do now is go to our next location which is called the circles. It's not literally a circles, you'll see what it is. Okay, so right now I've arrived at the circus. So the circus is basically this roundabout that is absolutely breathtaking. So as you can see, all around me is uh, quite nice looking buildings. And this just goes all the way around 360 degrees. Yeah, so if you have time, I would recommend checking out this place as well. It's within walking distance from the city center, so uh, pretty accessible. Okay, so right now I'm now going to follow the horde of people who is uh, walking along the street there. So I think that leads us to our next destination which is the Royal Crescent. Okay, so right now I'm at the Royal Crescent which is a row of 30 shop houses arranged in the shape of a crescent. And it's one of the greatest examples of Georgian architecture. Well, given all this geometry that you just saw, maybe geometry will be this year's problem 6. Okay, I'm just kidding. Anyway, there is a museum here as well and it is unfortunately closed on Mondays which is the day I'm visiting so I won't be able to show you the museum but you should check it out if you are here as well.
Okay, so I think I made it to the center of the Royal Crescent. I don't know how you would define the center, but at least I think my X coordinate is correct. I'm not sure about the Y coordinate. Yeah, so I think the drizzle is getting a bit heavier, so I'm going to seek shelter and then after that, we'll be going to the University of Bath. Alright, so I have gotten off the bus that brought us to the University of Bath. So right now I'm walking uh, into the campus. Yeah, so there has been a lot of uh, nature scenery that I'm seeing. Uh, there's like birds and even squirrels. And over here we have I think the, the central lake. Uh, they are pretty famous for this lake. So let's take a look. So I found this uh, little map of the university campus and I think the accommodations that you'll be staying in are mostly near the top of the map. So probably around uh, these areas or these areas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out uh, some of the common facilities which I believe are the blue buildings over here. So let's go take a look. So I think I'm at the main activity center of the campus. Yeah, so you can see uh, students are walking around and it's quite a lively scene but still peaceful at the same time. So that's all for the video tour of Bath. I'm taking the bus back to city center and then the train back to Paddington station. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do I like Bath? I would say probably 11 out of 10. Yeah, it's one of the best cities I have uh, visited. So if you are going for the IMO this year, I must say you are really lucky. Uh, the campus is really beautiful and peaceful and the city of Bath itself is also really gorgeous. Uh, if you are still undergoing selection for IMO, I hope you will try your best and try and fight for a spot in the national team. Yeah, so that's all and I'll see you in the next video.